Bilia is spending the first morning of the new year accelerating away from Mauritius to the southeast at this time. It has strengthened though, winds of 90 miles per hour, that's around 145 kilometers per hour sustained, and a pressure of 970 millibars. This update brought in partnership with Matteo e Cyclo Maurice. It's currently at 25.6 degrees south, 60.3 degrees east as of 7 a.m. Mauritius time this January the 1st. The storm will continue in that direction. It's currently 1318 miles from Isle Amsterdam and 3360 miles from Perth, Western Australia. The remnants of this storm could pass just to the south of Western Australia next week. Well, here's a look at where it's projected to go in the meantime. You can see the energy dwindling as the storm progresses towards the extratropical zones and it will lose all of that moisture and energy that it has. It will still be quite a potent extratropical cyclone with a large wind field, but we obviously won't be seeing its name for much longer. So, movement towards the southeast there. You can also see it dragging along a lot of other moisture toward, from the north and uh, Mauritius in general and the Masserine Islands will probably experience a fairly wet few days uh, after the storm has gone as well. Well here are the sea surface temperatures in the area, um, dropping quite a bit as the storm moves towards the south as you'd expect. Where it is right now it's around 77 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 25 Celsius and it'll be dropping like a stone pretty soon indeed. Well here it is right now, uh, the wind field moving towards the southeast, the wind field expanding, the hurricane force winds uh, continuing for about a day or two before it starts weakening significantly. Very soon it will be wind shear that takes this storm out along with uh, decreasing sea surface temperatures. Once it does turn post-tropical though, it still has a shot at reaching hurricane equivalent status again, just with the winds and not actually the status. The models are calling for gradual weakening over the next few days. Um, wind shear, as you can see, is already rising pretty quickly, so I think we've probably seen or are seeing the storm peaking right now. Sea surface temperatures won't support it in the next few hours, and relative humidity is average. You can see the long track there of the storm expected to take it just south of Australia. So here is the satellite imagery of this storm. It looked really good for a time um, overnight local time, but uh, this morning it's just starting to lose that eye structure again in those latest frames. So we'll probably start to see that weakening trend beginning uh, pretty much straight away. So that was the storm that almost threatened New Year's, but didn't quite happen in Mauritius, thankfully. It did still deliver 60 mile per hour winds to the island, but this storm looks like it's on its way out and this is probably going to be our final update. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already, you may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an ultimate fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force 13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.